Well, RIP my sugarcane crop. Even with a full season, it just, there wasn't enough warm weather for it to come through. So I think I need to take a vacation in more southerly climes. Hey folks. Uh, uh, okay, hang on. I'm busy here for a moment. I'll talk to you as soon as I'm done with this guy. Whoops. A little bit low. That was just a wasted arrow, that one. There we go. Can I get these two arrows? Yeah, a bunch of crap in my inventory. Um, let's put all these seeds somewhere. Okay, so uh, as you saw in the intro, there's the other seeds. Despite giving it an entire season, my sugar cane did not ripen. So instead of going for red steel this episode, which was my original intention, I decided because we're it's almost into winter, right? Uh, this is the last day of mid-autumn. Um. Uh, I should sleep to avoid some of the critters. I can pursue the red steel in winter when there's snow on the ground. There's nothing, and exploration doesn't work as well in the wintertime. <clears throat> so right now what I want to do is head south far enough that the temperature rises to the point. Where are we here? Uh, min 4.4. That's an improvement over where I started. When I started, the minimum was like one degree. So, so I figure if I travel, if I get to 5,000 south, 5,000 blocks south, that should be warm enough that I can, uh, that I can grow the sugar cane. So, so I want to set up a, I want to set up a southern plantation with the, uh, to grow the sugar cane and also a couple other things like the soybeans <clears throat> and I brought along some maize as well just so that in the winter time I'll, I'll have a place where I know that I can uh, get some grain as well. The other thing I want to do along the way is I'm still looking for an olive tree so I want to keep my eye out for fruit trees. And uh, this one looks like uh, red apple, yeah, yeah, we've got red apple coming up the wazoo. Anyway, so, oh, I should show you where I am on the map, eh? Um, so, here's home back here. And I just came over here and I've been walking south and I'm just now getting into some new area that's I've never explored before. And if you look in the left corner by the mini-map, the Z coordinate there, that's telling us how far south we are. And so uh, if I want to get to 5,000, then I've got like another 3,700 blocks to go. So we'll see whether I brought enough stuff with me for everything. Ah, look, there's some sugar cane growing up there. Uh, it doesn't really tell me anything, though. <clears throat> it can spawn in places where it won't. It can spawn in places where the where the uh, growing season is not long enough for it to prosper. Oh, I need some food. Uh, I'm not going to eat raw <laughs> feline meat. Uh, let's see. Has my squash gotten rotten yet? No. So fill up on squash. As usual, took along a bunch of food that's about to die. But hey, I can always use more uh, sugarcane seeds in my plantation. But yeah, so I brought along some building materials. I don't know if I'll, I'll set up a little building or maybe just uh, put a roof down. I did bring a second bed. 
Actually, I have, a, I have two beds with me, so I have the, my traveling bed, and then the second bed will set up wherever I end up. Uh, hyenas, it looks like, over there. That's okay. They, if they don't bother me, I won't bother them. <clears throat> so it's just a matter of wandering along here, keeping an eye out for fruit trees. And this is this is actually pretty good terrain for it now. Like in the forest, it's just the trees are all too dense to be able to see them very well. But out here where the trees are sparser, it's a lot easier to scan the horizon for those thin-stemmed little fruit trees. Yeah, and so I'm going to... I'm walking this out right now. Oh, look, I got some uh, berry bushes. <clears throat> Always enjoy those. So I'm walking this out now, but... Well, we'll see. I was going to say that the temptation will be... This will be far enough south that it's going to be a lot of time walking back and forth. So I might, once I've got it established, just teleport back and forth. We'll see. You can tell me in the comments if you think that would be a betrayal of the uh, game. I mean, you're not going to want to see me wandering 5,000 blocks back and forth every time I want to go to this place. So I'd end up doing it off camera anyway. Oh, I can refill my jug. Where are we at? 1600. Oh, so we got a long way to go yet. Do I see any fruit trees? Yeah, sorry if my voice sounds a bit off. I noticed that in the previous episode as well. I'm not exactly sure. Like, I'm not sick or anything, so... Not completely sure why it's sounding that way right now. Maybe, maybe I'm finally... Maybe I finally reached puberty. That's what it is. But yeah, so right now, since it's still fall, um, I'll still get plants spawning in, like new crops spawning in, so that's why it's best to do this now before we get into winter. And as I, again, unless TNG has changed it, um, even if I'm in a warmer climate where it doesn't snow, I don't think new crops spawn in in wintertime. Well, that's an experiment we can do, right? Wait until winter hits, and then why am I wandering with, with seeds in my hands? I need to have a weapon in my hand, not seeds. Uh, green beans. I just ran across those. I didn't bring those from home. Same with the red bell pepper seeds. I just ran across those. So the only ones I brought with me are the maize, the sugar cane, and the soybean seeds. Because the soybeans also seem to have it's not as bad i can get a crop out of the soybeans speaking of which that's what these are here but since they're the only crop i have uh that has a high protein content ooh, hyenas nearby Uh, they're over there, so I'll go this way. <clears throat> Since they're the only crop I have that have a high protein content, I'd like to have a lot more of them. And despite my being... what What's my level now? What's my level now? I am like an agricultural master, and I've almost maxed out the master bar. And despite that, I'm, I'd still only manage to increase my my number of seeds, soybean seeds, that is, from two to three and that was after four harvests two last year and another two this year so i welcome the additional seeds oh that's not a good sound okay i don't think he's aggressive during the day but i'm not going to push my luck 
Yeah, I think the only things I need to worry about are lions and bears. Uh, the, oh, I think the, the hyenas may be active during the day. I don't really know. I haven't tried them out. But the saber tooths and the black panthers, I'm pretty sure, are both only well, both only aggressive during at night. Oh, did I remember bringing my boat? Oh, I can make a boat, I guess, if I have to. Because that's a lot of water. Speaking of hyenas... Don't see any fruit trees over there. Well, shall we find out whether they're uh, aggressive during the day? Oh, I don't know, that's a lot of hyenas. Alright, let's see if we can't thin them out a bit. That's a lot of hyenas. Well, it's one less. Okay, it's another one down. Another one. Gonna use up all my arrows just on this hyena experiment. Okay, so there's just two down here. Let's see, do they come for me? They don't appear to wanna. You know, if I was writing the code for these guys, I would be tempted to only make them aggressive when they have like large numbers. Yeah, he's, he's definitely running away from me. Okay, well, that's good to know. So I don't don't have to be too worried about the hyenas. Which is good, because I, apparently I'm going to be running into a lot of them along here. Oh yeah, when I was talking about the uh, uses of a red steel bucket, one of the obvious ones I left out was, of course, being able to extend your irrigated cropland by placing source water blocks wherever you want them. Although really, you know, from the amount of food you get, even from just a small farm is more than enough. So, looks like I'm into a new rock here. Dolomite, oh, okay. Dolomite is, uh, if I remember correctly, is one of the ones that you can turn into, yeah, flux. Yeah, all right. Well, a note of that. Check the temperature. What are we up to here? 1.1 minimum. It's supposed to be getting hotter. All right. Like according to the TNG documentation, I think it's on a 10,000 or 20,000 block cycle, I think. So, you know, as you head south, it'll get warmer. For I think 10,000 blocks and then it's supposed to start getting cooler and then get warmer again. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Well, as I mentioned in the previous episode, there's no urgency for me to get to blue steel. I don't have any big reason to want to carry lava around with me. Not at the moment, I mean. It could happen. But still, I want to eventually go through it just for completeness, right? So I'll have demonstrated to you guys all of the different metals. But it occurred to me for that I need zinc, for which I need sphalerite. And while I found sphalerite deposits, I haven't yet mined any. So there is still at least one more mine in my future where I will get to use the uh, get to use the support beams method of mining, hopefully. Oh, oh, doo -doo -doo. coal. Nice. Yeah, okay. This is another thing I was kind of hoping to run into at some point in time. 
Is it lignite or is it uh, anthracite? Or bitumous, rather, I think they call it here, right? Bitumous coal, I'll take it. Yeah, we can't use it, can't, can't use coal in smelting things, but we can use it to heat things up, like for the forge, right? That's a new tree there, so what is it? It's probably sycamore, right, if I remember. Oh, let's check our temperature. Minimum eight. Ah, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right. And this is, looks like fresh water over here. Indeed it is. Okay. Eight degrees, that's probably enough. Hang on, let's get rid of the uh, overlay. 4370. Uh, let me just flag this. Kind of scenic too with the waterfall. Well, you can't really see the water. Well, <laughs> once I cut down, once I cut down all the trees, we'll be able to see the waterfall. Look at the scenic view. We ripped down a forest to give it to you. Actually, the area, I, the place where I live, is relatively mountainous, and you do see people doing that, right? Chopping down perfectly good trees to so they get a nice view. Huh. That looks kind of cool. And we, ooh, what was this over here? Well, that's a, um, well, if this was regular Minecraft, that would be an ocelot. It's possible it's baby something else. Hopefully it's just an ocelot because then I don't have to worry about it trying to kill me. <laughs> So if we're seeing ocelots, then we must be getting into warmer... Well, mind you, I thought... I was going to say we must be getting into warmer temperatures, but... I didn't think it was just warmer temperatures. I thought it was actually had to be jungle biome, but maybe not in TNG. It looks like there's more uh, coal. Ah, don't throw your sword away. Good lord, not the sword. It might be coal, it might be jet. If it's jet, that'll be a little disappointing because jet's pretty useless. Some other thing here, maybe more gypsum. Looks like gypsum. Well, I can just hit it. With a... Yeah, more gypsum. Yeah, this... Oh no, this is limonite. Okay. Ah, huh, cool. Yeah, so in this game, there's uh, the bituminous coal and lignite and then their jet and jet is basically a type of coal it's just uh, a lot harder and darker and rarer so you got use for jewelry but you could burn it if you want to but not in this game i had one campaign i was playing in where i was really looking for some coal to make it a little easier on my charcoal supply you know so i wouldn't have to be wouldn't have to make as much charcoal because I could use coal for, you know, heating, reheating ingots and melt, melting down alloys and things like that. And I found like multiple deposits of jet and never did find any coal. And so that was frustrating because I knew that realistically I should be able to burn the jet, but alas. So this is all salt water. Hmm. Well, actually, no. No, it's fresh. I uh, wonder, it seemed a little bit too light. Oh, okay. Well, so we have a... Well, all right. Awesome. So we have a large body of fresh water here. Wow. Now, can I find some level land to put a farm on? This looks like it's more level. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So I think this is going to be our home away from home. 
Let's get it marked. Okay, so I'm going to do a bunch of engineering here, a bunch of civil engineering, uh, cutting down trees and digging up dirt and putting down dirt and all that. And uh, it's probably not too exciting. So I will bring you back when I'm uh, when I'm done with that. Well, there's the sugarcane plantation in, and that's the maze over there. I'm not sure whether it's working or not. I'll show you what I mean. If I take the hoe and I try to hoe this land, I'm right clicking here and nothing is happening, right? But if I dig it up and then put a dirt block in, then I can hoe it. So I thought at first maybe it was because you also see the, the dirt here isn't as dark as, well, some of it is. It's dark here, but it's not very dark out in here. And so I thought maybe the hoe was trying to tell me that it's like just too arid here, that there's not enough moisture in the ground. But if I, uh, if I bring up debug mode and look, uh, if you look over on the right, just above where it says terra firma craft and cyan, you can see it says moisture 13. And it varies quite a bit, moisture eight here, but all of it, you only need level three yeah, for a crop to grow. So it's, and all this stuff has at least four. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see if it gr actually grows or not. <laughs> One thing I just found amusing is there's sitting right here is some native silver. So all that time I spent well, it wasn't that much time, I guess, but you know, my, that, uh, an episode I spent hunting for silver and it's just, just happen across it right here. So, all right, well, I'm going to spend a couple of nights here, I guess, to see whether this stuff is actually growing because debug mode will at least tell me what state it's in. I mean, I visually I'll be able to tell anyway, but I can see here right now it's still at stage zero. So, uh, we'll see if it works. So, um, I haven't bothered to build myself anything yet, except for a chest. <clears throat> but uh, I'll bring you back in after a couple of days when I know better whether or not this is actually working. See you then. Well, this is disappointing. Some of them have died. So I went and checked the wiki uh, for TNG. This isn't a crop in... Uh, traditional TFC, classic TFC. Uh, but in, so in TNG, it needs a minimum temperature of 20. And you can see over in the debug area over there is that right now the temperature is 10.3. But, so this isn't warm enough. So I am going to have to head further south until I get a, uh, get a higher temperature than this. I'm going to have to try and find like at least another 10 degrees. So I'm just going to pack up my stuff and uh, head further south. The only other thing I did was I, while I was waiting for the crops to show some, uh, some change, <laughs> I was hoping for the better, <laughs> but it turns out not, is I went and mined some of that uh, coal that was back there. So, All right, so I'll uh, bring it back in when I've gotten into more tropical temperatures, I guess. See ya. Ducks and sheepses, oh my. Oh, didn't you notice this here? <laughs> Almost walked right by this. Uh, might be a cherry tree. Doesn't quite look like a cherry tree. Let's have a look. Olive! Yes, 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 yes. All right. Now, normally I just take one sapling and then wait for, wait for until I can, you know, grow more of my own back at the farm, you know, kind of grow it organically. But I'm figuring I'm going to need a lot of this stuff. Um, so since I have found this this far south, I'm guessing that uh, TNG does limit its range by uh, temperature. So
So that means like maybe I'll take one sapling back home and plant it there, but I think I'll plant the others at wherever I end up having my southern plantation. So Oh, I just realized something else I forgot to mention. Um before I started out on this magical journey, there's another uh fruit tree up there. It looks like there might be one over here as well. Oh, this one over here looks like it might be apple. Um, that one actually looks like it might be another olive. But there are some hyenas between me and them. Um, wow, I'm getting stacked up on stuff to say. Um, so before I started off on this journey, the uh, the cows had had their... Uh, yeah, this is another cherry tree. Oh, well, not cherry. Red apple. Okay. Uh, the cows had had their second calf. So, so I'm slowly getting my little herd going there. Um, I'm guessing that's a second olive tree over there. If I can just get to it without drowning. All right. Now we've determined that you guys are not aggressive during the day, right? Yeah, no, this is different. It's got different bark from the olive, from the olive. So maybe this one is cherry. Or maybe it's something I haven't seen yet. Uh, it looks like peach, actually. Yeah, it's a peach sapling. Alright, well, I'm still heading south here. Oh, there's another bush I can pick up. And... Looks like something wants to kill me up there. Lion? Oh, maybe it's just a... Oh, it's horses. Well, that's not so bad. Oh, temperature. So what are we up to here? Minimum of 11.2. Well, that's a little bit better than where I was before, but... I need to get to 20. So, I'll see you in a bit. Well, it took me till 13,000 blocks before I finally got into temperatures. I'll show you here. Um, you can see the minimum here is 21.2 degrees. Now, uh, just to clarify a little bit, um, the first place where I set up where it was only like around 10 degrees minimum, um, I could have grown the sugar cane there. The growing season is probably long enough, but I can't grow it year-round. It won't grow in the wouldn't grow in the winter time because it would get too cold. So I wanted to uh, get a place far enough south that it would grow year-round, because otherwise, because then I can just plant it and leave it, right? Um, otherwise, I end up having to watch the calendar and 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 I will forget about it and miss it. And so I've, I've got these things planted in here. I planted some soybeans. I ran into a bunch of more soybeans. And as you can see, I ran into a bunch more uh, uh, sugarcane along the way as well. Um, these are just... The only reason the green beans and the red peppers are here is because I happened to run by some seeds that had popped out of the ground and they went into my inventory. So they get to be part of the southern plantation. And then the maize here is just so that I have, as I mentioned before, a... Uh, a winter source of grain. And I've planted the olive trees over here. Um, I did run into one more olive tree, but I was only able to get one sapling off of it. So that one I'm going to take back home and plant it there and just see if I, I get an olive crop there. But anyway, these ones are here. <laughs> I went to all the trouble of building a queer. No, you can't quite see it from here. But anyway, <clears throat> just so I grind up some of the... Uh, some of the bones so that I could come here and bone meal these uh, olive trees to give them a head start. And that's going to have to be it. There was uh, like a lot of yakking and traveling and not a whole lot of action, but I had to get, I really wanted to get this done, particularly the olive trees. Actually, they're the bigger one. It's not like I even have all that much use for sugar, sugar cane, but you know, there is some use for it and I can't grow it at all back at those. So, all right. So I'm not going to, I'm 
well, I'm going to stick around here long enough to make sure that it, you know, that it does grow, that it, that some of it like reaches second stage. So I've been here for about three days so far. I mean, if we look at the date, yeah, we're into, <laughs> well, you can see how much time I spent walking. When I left, it was, I think the start of start or just early on in mid autumn. And now we're into midwinter, almost to the, we're more than halfway through midwinter. So it took a lot of walking, but, uh, but I now have it all set up and now I get to walk back home after, of course, I, I see this stuff, uh, sprout a bit. So anyway, so I hope you got something out of that. Uh, next episode, I promise you, we will do the, uh, red steel and uh, we'll be back home and the ground will probably be covered in snow. So it'll be nice to sit inside with a nice warm forge and do some metallurgy. So I hope to see you back then. Bye.